Well, I'm Dr. David Rogers, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon here at CMH. I've been coming up here uh, since 2003, and most of my elective practice now is focused on dealing with shoulder issues. Well, the most common by far is uh, rotator cuff tears. Uh, the rotator cuff is made up of four muscles and tendons that attach on the one side around the shoulder blade and then it crosses the joint and attaches on the upper part of the arm and it helps control the rotation and elevation of the arm and it kind of helps hold the shoulder ball centered on the socket while the bigger muscles on the um, outside of the shoulder do most of the actual work of moving the arm. The more age you get, the more likely you are to have a rotator cuff tear. Age is the most common uh, factor <clears throat> associated with, with rotator cuff tears. Repetitive use plays into it. Sometimes there's a specific injury that may have caused a rotator cuff tear. Uh, patients who have diabetes are more likely to have issues with rotator cuff tears because of the circulation to the tendon. Uh, people who smoke are more likely to have issues with rotator cuff problems than those who don't. Pain and limited motion in the shoulder, probably the biggest single complaint that brings people in to get something done is they have a lot of pain at night. They can't sleep, they're sitting up in a chair, they're walking the floor. People seem to be able to put up with a lot, but when it starts really uh, interfering with the sleep pattern, that really motivates them to come in and get something done. Well, of course, the first thing is to you know, be evaluated in the office with a history, physical exam. Plain x-rays, a lot of times, doesn't really give a complete picture of what's going on with the rotator cuff. and. I would say that most of the time an MRI is required. If the rotator cuff is torn and if it looks like something that can be repaired, then that can uh, usually be done arthroscopically just with uh, three or four small incisions around the shoulder. That is an outpatient procedure. Usually patients are in a sling for about a month. It's three to four months for most people to get back to reasonably normal day-to-day uh, -day activity and you'll probably continue to see improvement for up to a year. There are some patients who come in who have rotator cuff tears that can't be fixed for whatever reason or maybe they have a rotator cuff tear and they also have arthritis in the shoulder. The joint surfaces of the ball and socket are worn out. So if you try and repair a rotator cuff in a shoulder that's, that has underlying arthritis, then they may still have a painful stiff shoulder even if the rotator cuff is repaired and you get it to heal. And so for uh, some of those patients, a special kind of a shoulder replacement might be recommended. The shoulder replacement actually in a lot of ways is a quicker recovery than a rotator cuff repair. I tell most folks that it's going to be two to three months to be back to reasonably normal day-to-day -day use, but it still takes a while to make the full recovery. The, the muscles have become deconditioned over a longer period of time. Most people go to physical therapy. Uh, in the beginning, we work mostly on stretching to regain the mobility and give everything a chance to heal up a little bit before we work too much on strengthening. Uh, they'll be instructed in how to safely do sort of what we call activities of daily living, just your basic things that you do each day. Uh, and it's important for the patients to continue to do the exercises at home that they've been shown in physical therapy on the days when they're not in the physical therapy clinic or after their supervised therapy has been completed it's important to continue to do those exercises and sort of incorporate that into uh, the daily or weekly routine. I think people get stiff because they don't stretch. And I think one way to avoid a lot of kind of orthopedic problems is just to do a little bit of uh, stretching, just try and maintain the flexibility so you don't get all stove up.